Hi everyone, welcome to week four of your Pharmacy Career Planning 2 course. Um, this week we're going to be covering chapter eight. Chapter eight is all about um, managed care pharmacy. And when we think of managed care pharmacy, what we're really talking about is, you know, dealing with prescription drug benefits. Um, most, uh, most employee benefits offer some sort of prescription drug coverage where you're allowed to either pay a small uh, charge, you know, like a, 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 a copay when the prescription is dispensed and then the insurance company pays the rest. Um, or you pay a, up to a certain point, um, you pay the full price and then the, then the, the, uh, insurance company picks up the rest at the end of the year. Um, but either way, um, that it's done, um, it is handled through a third party, uh, which is managed care pharmacy. Um, we have provider networks. They, they handle all of the, the business of reimbursement to the, back to the pharmacy, um, who dispense the medications and things like that. When we talk about prescription drug benefits, you're going to be looking at things like what drugs are covered, what drugs are excluded from coverage. Um, most companies who offer prescription drug benefits have some sort of formulary. So a formulary simply means that it, they have a list of drugs that they approve for specific conditions. So they may not approve every single drug for high blood pressure, for example but they have preferred drugs on their formulary, which ones they prefer to pay for over others. And so um, that is all part of dealing with managed care pharmacy. Um, again, there's typically a copayment. Um, there are different types of limitations, whether it be through the formulary or just um, as far as dollar limits and things like that. Um, there's typically a group of providers that's linked through the contract to provide the services. So they may tell you that you need to go to a, a Walgreens, a CVS, or something like that to be able to use your benefits, things like that. Um, let's take a look a little bit at uh, what are some of the roles within this type of um, managed care pharmacy. And let me just kind of skip through to that section. Um, one moment here, let me get to the right slide, but, um, the rest of the slides are going to go through and how they decide what's on formulary and things like that. Um, but one of the big things that, um, you know, that they try to do is to contain costs. That's kind of the, one of the big reasons for having managed care pharmacy. So if you are someone who is working in managed care pharmacy, there's, there's different things that you're going to be doing than you would in a regular pharmacy setting. So when you think of pharmacy, we usually think of retail or hospital. Managed care is a little bit different because we're going to be the ones within managed care. They're going to develop that formulary. So there's going to be a pharmacist that's involved in that. Um, they're going to work with disease management programs. So they're going to look at things like what drugs are the best for a specific type of disease. And then that's what they use to help develop that formulary. Um, they're going to do what we call drug utilization review. They're going to do a lot of research. So there's going to be a lot of, of, of book stuff going on with these particular pharmacists, not nearly as much hands-on as you would have in a retail setting or an acute care setting. Instead, they're going to be doing the thinking, okay? They're going to be the ones coming up with the decisions that will drive what you're able to get through your, your um, retail pharmacy. Um, a lot of administrative roles. Um, so again, just managing all of that, determining what the drug benefits are going to be about, working directly with the employers, who are, you know, contracting with them to determine what's best for their particular company um, and things like that. Um, they also have a sales role in some places where they're actually going out and selling their benefits um, to specific um, companies that want, that are looking for benefits for their particular employees. So a lot of different types of things that you'd be doing in managed care pharmacy that you don't necessarily do in um, you know, like I said, retail, acute care, and things like that. Um, so as you go through this, kind of make note of some of those differences. 
um, again, as you you know, you start exploring what type of area you want to work in. Um, you know, this is an area where you don't necessarily have direct patient contact, so you have to weigh that against um, the other types of pharmacy practice where you do have direct patient contact. You know, what exactly are you looking for? So as you go through this chapter, um, you know, kind of keep those things in mind. If you have any questions at all this week, please make sure that you reach out to me and let me know. And have a great week.